This is Emmett Johnson Jafari. Most people that I've grown up with and know me uh, on the streets and for public service and the types of works that I'm involved in in the communities and through civic functions know me as Emmett J. And you can feel free to call me Emmett J too. I'm here this morning to announce my candidacy for clerk of the Circuit Court of the City of Richmond. This is the Code of Virginia. The Code of Virginia stands for one set of laws and principles for everybody, for all the citizens of the Commonwealth. It's the blueprint that guides judicial application for everyone, regardless of color, regardless of creed, race, religion. Doesn't make any difference whether you're rich or poor. Doesn't make any difference whether you're a man or woman. But there's one problem with the clerk's office here. You see, for 400 years, since this whole region was started, and certainly since 1782 when Richmond was started, no Asian American, no Native American, no Hispanic American, no African American, no other American, except for the European American has ever operated the court system here, the clerk's office in the court. Now how does this work its way down in a practical matter? Well, some of my recent involvements with the court involve going down there to do research. Research of uh, a genealogical nature. And the atmosphere, I found, flows from the top down. It's a class-based atmosphere, and it's one that I'm going to articulate in upcoming events. But I'm here to proudly announce that this fall, November 8, 2011, you will have an option to what you have yourself encountered in the courts, and you will have the opportunity to remove some of that angst and animus that is associated with any kind of citizen visit to the court. And you'll have once and for all a choice to make to put somebody that you know, somebody from a direct family of people who've been here in Richmond since 1860, whose people are no doubt buried in the Negro burial ground, and whose people walked these streets during the same times before and after Abraham Lincoln emancipated African Americans right here. So God bless you. I look forward to a vote from you, and I look forward to doing continued snippets of this nature right up until election time. Take care.